Okay, going to do another little one about salt creatures. This is just a minor one, though, and we'll go into something else that we're looking at. But this is a scarlet red reef star, or serpent star, where it has a central body and then long arms, like an octopus or a serpent, if you will. And, uh, yeah, it's alive and crawling around this rock. He's making this coral all close up up here that he keeps touching, but he's just cruising around. We've let him loose there, oh, about an hour ago, and I've run back in there and take a look at him and shot some footage of him crawling around. Let's talk about some of the other creatures that are there. What you see on this rock that's here that's real wispy is a special type of metallic green star polyps and why it doesn't look metallic green right now because all the daylights are on full. If you kick it to just blue, all you see is those little wispy green hairs moving around a lot. Believe it or not, this thing is forest green with orange centers to it and he's just got it all closed up. Two colored brain. And this is one of the favorite things that I could ever get in into the hobby. This is related to seahorses and things. It's known as a pipefish. This is a special type found around Bali. It's a mini banded pipefish. There are three variations found through the South China Sea, and you pretty much that's the only place you find this variation of it. But there are other serpent pipefish that you find that even have a bendable neck to them. And they seem to be somewhat a missing link. And uh, I'll do a video about them one day too, or maybe all pipe fish. But a uh, little bitty thing, size of a pencil. There's a marbled brain that's down there in some of these corals. And this is all just live rock. Now that's a live coral that's going to color up eventually. It, we got it in and it's kind of green and brown and pinkish tips, but not lit up. But it gets there. And this is a, another fragment of another type of um, Fruit Loops coral that we used to get in. It's got little bitty green Fruit Loops all over it when they're wisping around. And you can barely make out this rainbow Aiken Lord that's there. But this is a dead coral skeleton of something like this that grew up very big and then died off. But we end up transplanting corals onto it and it grows all out on it too. All this is live rock and it was sent to us live, still wet, packed, but not in water. But then swathed with towels. Uh, like paper towels and newspaper and stuff and still moist when we get it. In fact, sometimes crabs and things have walked out of it and so on. I've even seen a, a couple of creatures that are poisonous that if they were to have bit you, would get you and stuff. So, um, yeah, it comes in quite alive still. And when we, when we get it, we have to kind of preen through it and make sure we don't have any hairy stone crabs or bad problematic things that we start the aquarium off with. But uh, it breaks in the aquarium naturally. It takes a piece of Mother Nature, and you take that in live sand and mix up the salt water right, get it to the right temperature, let it run for a day, and throw this live rock in there, and it kicks in. A couple of weeks later, you can start putting your very first corals and fish in there, and something simplistic and very easy to do at first. You can kind of see how it has the orange centers on green, and it's kind of open, the parts that he hasn't touched, but it's a striking red color. I get in ones that were banded in all kinds of colors. They call harlequin. There's one of those cleaner shrimp. Here's something neat. That's a, a type of uh, Nemo, if you will, that everybody knows them by now. This is a black Bracula clown, and uh, as they age, they'll even lose pretty much everything but the chin, like you see right there being orange. A variation from Nemo, but it comes from Erie and Jaya, like New Guinea and Australia. And when Sanders and Coy first found them in like 1800s, they uh, found them in the Philippines area and uh, around all through the islands there. And they thought they were looking at the same fish. Once they did realize they were looking at, they finally figured out well, this variation is called the True Percula. He was the one we named after and they renamed all the rest of them variations called Ocellaris. They have a variation in a special part of Australia's Great Barrier Reef where they're solid black and lose that orange totally and they're known as Darwin's Percula Clown. That was a yellow chorus wrasse zipping around in there. That's one of those real cool Maxima Clams. Yeah, and I just wanted to show you that because I knew it had the pipe fish in it and it had the uh, Scarlet Reef, Scarlet Reef star. Let's look just one more thing here. Mm -hmm. 
Now these are these Scolimia donut corals. And they are literally both my hands around something, you know, like that. that. That's, that's about real right there and the different stripes that are on them. It kind of shows, but this is like blue marble on green with neon green stripes. And this one over here has got two-tonish green with this deep aqua color that's not so metallic but then bright metallic orange stripes all over it. looks pretty neat. And again, you wouldn't believe what these look like when you kick it to just actinic. Could you tell when we came over how this detected us and our shadow going over it and it actually retracted? I'm going to go back a little bit and let you see that effect where its tentacles suck in and the ring around its body should happen about watch it see that this is one of the rarest forms where just the lines and the ribs of it these are called fungia plates because if you pop a mushroom off like to eat it or whatever you pop it off the top and you look at the bottom it looks like bicycle spokes everywhere so this is named after that fungia day fungia bright orange center onto it pretty good orange rim around it but two different colors metallic mouth and then an orange orange streaks running up it like lightning in the background as far as green something like this was going for 120 130 something like that and i even had people that were buying them from me and reselling them for upwards of 300 dollars and getting it for it and everybody likes that likes a green but they love that metallic like right there and there's different colors so if you're going to have a, a pretty good you know sand bed in your aquarium around the live rock you're going to want two or three different colors and two or three different shapes you get something like this pink marbled brain with a blue center or something like this one that's real red or hell both of them or maybe you want a green one well there's a lot of green in the hobby but once you get into it you realize that there's a lot of colors different than green and a lot different than orange this thing if you can barely make it out has some orange scribbles in it now, if I remember, I got this thing in not too long before Halloween. So I put it up on the site, Halloween, da-da-da, and charged 10 bucks more for it. It lasted an hour. It was gone. I, I think by the time I filmed this, this was already sold. But it has yellow little bright tips right on the top of it, too. So in no way was it the same as the others. But it got sent to me as the same. And, oh, man, I'm not going to go, oh, 50 bucks more or anything like that. I usually go, man, that's incredible. i got to charge you something. 10 bucks more and maybe that'll help make it up for anything that I lost in the shipment because sometimes you'd get something that was pinched in the bag on the way here and it wouldn't do too good. Mmm, cuttlefish they're talking about there in that video. So, uh, this is just a whole bunch of highlight corals that I had. And did I show this one to y'all before? Purple hornets. What's so neat about this is the fringe on these alternate. Yeah, and uh, there's a variation. The original of these was called Blue Angels. Like the sky flying team with the blue and the yellow and stuff on them. There's Blue Angels. This, uh, the, every other one is gold, blue, gold, blue, gold, blue. It's a purple. Rich background. And then this ring that they have a little thin ring like that only in them is known as a hornet and they will only grow that thin ring it won't get wider it won't get thinner you can screw them up and make it go away but it won't be anything else other than that these things were selling for a hundred bucks a piece for a while there's an anemone i got in that is purple like grape it's a whole bunch of blue hornets so at one time you can see that was over a thousand dollars well but there was only one on that rock, and inside of a month it turned into two, and leaving it alone it turned into four. And what I would do is chip that whole chunk off the rock and stick it on something and go, here you go, it's four of them. Four of them, I can't go 450. No, how about 150 bucks? For all of them, bam. Sadly, a lot of the people who got these started reselling them. This is a type of frog spawn, like the one we were looking at in another video, but in, it, it was a cristata where the background's clear. And this one, it's milky. And it's weird because it's pink and green milky background, and all the yellow dot heads have green just swarves right around their heads. I had a stinging suspicion it might turn solid green, but apparently it didn't. This is branching, too, and we sold it by the head. I think I only sold it for like $60 a head. Each one is probably 
you know, fist size, you know, fist size. But a unique, unique color form. There's looking at close at it, and you can see the green rings around the yellow if you look close enough. This is one of my favorite corals called Blastomusa. It's kind of like the Akins. We looked at a whole bunch of different ones, but before we ever could get them from Great Barrier Reef, and we only saw pictures and never anything cool like even I got, this was one we could get in. And you could get ones that are solid green center with red little stuff on the outside and so on. This one had a rainbow halo that's here on it, and it doesn't even show up in the picture but a little mist of a rainbow halo and you could see pink and purple and green and two colors of green in it. I thought it was quite stand out, but hell, the whole thing sold for 130 bucks. We would get in orders and one, one Zoe would come in that never seen before, never before. And we'd have to try to come up with a name. It would be kind of like this one we have a name for, kind of like that. We'd try to develop it off of that name. And so then we put it out, people would be known by it. But generally, I'd try to grow them out if I could, but I was that idiot that would not try to grow them out and then, oh, here you can have one after begging. I'd just go ahead and sell it to people. I'd put out the shot of that on there uh, online, and I'd say, man, I'm going to sell it for 40 bucks a piece, and all of a sudden three people would buy it, and I'd go, I'm sorry, there's just one. And I didn't even ever grow it out. I'm hoping I can get the guy to send more. I'm sending him a picture and tell people he'll get some more. And we went through that game a whole lot. It's another thing that's kind of like the A can, kind of like the Blasto. It doesn't puff up as much, but it had these yellow green centered eyes. It's called A can Hille, and this is a variation called Orange Crush, but it has lemon lime eyes. That is an A can, and what made it somewhat unique is that it had pink and purple stripes on the outside, which Setting next to all the other ones that are all bright red and all kinds of freaky colors, that's a standout. But this halo ring's in the wrong spot. It's a variation that we found very few of in the whole years that I did it, where the concentrated halo ring is not pulled all the way down or sitting up on the outside, but it's actually there. There's one that's like this, but it's not speckly and stuff, but it's real solid, solid, and they're called Hulk Mad. It's little clove polyps, like daisies and stuff. And what was so neat about these, if you look, they have little feathers over all of them. Every single one's a feather, but the line running down the feather is a bright gold yellow color. And there's an anchor hammer coral that's bright, shiny, copper penny colored, kind of a rainbow on each one. This is a rare coral called Symphilia, and uh, Symphilia agaricea. I believe is what I got it in as, although I think it may be one of two other variations also because you'd have to kill it and look at the skeleton really. <laughs> but look at the islands and the way that it looks and merbs all around and stuff. It's a giant brain. It's as big as both your hands. I bought it as a medium to large, but it came in and it was literally, this is uh, half a volleyball. I'd get in these bubble tip anemones. Yeah, for Nemo to play in and stuff, and all kinds of different colored ones. And he knew every one that he got in cool, he'd set aside for me, right? And uh, whether I bought them all or not, I kind of had first shot at them because I was the one that got him going on a lot of different things. And this one was just so bright, I toned it down and still couldn't keep it from blurring out in the golden yellow that's up inside of it. I heard I sold this for 110 bucks plus shipping. I heard the guy that got it sold it for 350 after he split it in half and got it to live, and then he lost the other half. <clears throat> These are Fromia stars, and they're literally called tiled stars. They look like they're made out of tiles, and if they ever die, they boom. Now, I got in these special anemones that were different than those other ones, and uh, this version here. If they got all lemon, all green, would call a lemon drop, but this version here was called Sunset. And I get in these versions with these a lot of this metallic pink nipple on peach body, but two-tone down to a green, and we call those Daglo. And I think you'll probably see a picture of one of them soon. That's me holding on to it in my hand. There's another one of those real bright yellow ones. The 
A-can with just gold rings around on it. Gold ring A-can is what we called it. It was one of those metallic hammers that was sent to me as an orange, but you can tell it's just got this swirly oil effect of colors all over it. And that picture does not do it justice. And whenever you kick it to actinic lighting, it looked like the multicolors and oil onto it and just lit up, you know, like black light photographs do. All these corals do. All these corals have a black light effect. And even that red mushroom with little pink dots, when you turned it on actinic, it was like Peppermint City. Dayglow Volcanozos, they were for real popular. So somebody found another one called Krakatoa's that blew it away too. And then, oh my God, and the Krakatoa guy sold them for well, three or $400 a piece. Then I got some and started selling them for less than that. And oh, it just, you know, it, it just never ends. It doesn't show in this, but it's got a double alternating fringe of green. And what made these unique is look how thick and wobbed. And instead of being a finger, it's a thumb. So it's like finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb. But also there's a green, gold, red, Purple, it's to the inside of it. It's one of those scalimia brains. They eat little chunks of food too. That mouth in the center of it will eat food. Here's one of those neon torches that has pink tips. There's a hammer head that is just kryptonite color. So you can see the hammerheads look quite different. There's a kryptonite elegant squirrel with purple tips. And here's one with pink tips. Like I was telling you before, so you can get the variation you can see on theme. Here's a type of clustered brain coral, and I'm real close in on it to try to get the effect that you can see of it. But this was called Grape Ape. The same style as like a fire and ice, but different. There's that day glow. And you can tell in these pictures here how it's just, if you get real close enough, you can see the skin is made of marbling and how it even shades different through it. And again, all the colors inside this are zoxanthellae and different forms of algae that are growing symbiotically with it. It's eating food, percolating that food juice into the arms just right and allowing it to feed the algae, which is also growing off the sunlight and purging it in and out, much like a plant and, you know, osmosis and chlorophyll and doing the whole thing, but right up under the ocean, it's totally different. Those fungia plates that I was showing you, this is called diaceris, and it's called a cracker coral, and that's because it forms these little ridges into it, and believe it or not, whenever I first started getting this in, they apparently did not know this, but they knew it would crack like a, a sand dollar does and things. But I got one in and it was broken and I thought it was going to die. I left it and it didn't die. And he knew what they were and which ones. And so we started getting them in. And you can literally pop them apart in pieces like a clover. And each leaf grows again new. And the others don't do that. They spawn out in the water and form from small zygotes and regrow. Whereas this one fractionates itself and splits. And it looks just like those copper ones and that green and orange one that I showed you earlier and stuff. Mushrooms like that pizza mushroom. Well, the Martian nipples chalice, and I was getting this one to turn more and more peach eyed, but whenever I did, it turned more and more blue. There's a frag of that gold ring Aiken. There's that other type of fungia, and you cannot cut that thing and have it to live. This is a close-up of a phoenix soul fabia. It's like the dragon soul fabia, but it had the metallic gold speckles all over it. This is a close-up of a Christmas lepastria. Wow, if you were watching my video that I had before, I don't know whatever I'm going to put them in. And I showed this, and I talked about it being hundreds of dollars per head if people sold this rainbow Aiken and stuff. And as I remember, this chunk right here went for $150. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Seems like fourteen, but I won't count it at thirty. Fourteen, fifteen. Got at least fifteen heads on it. So it was so hell, you buy one, you get fourteen free, what up with that? There's a blasto that came in gold. They're usually red. Gold would be real rare for blastos. And, 
Always that to my lucky charms. There's my yellow submarine puffer. It's a type of war coral that came in all kinds of day glow screwed up colors. The type of chalice that came in, we fragged it off and it's regrowing and it's just pink with yellow eyes. There's another type of favia and when we got it, half of it was blue and half of it was green. So we fragged off the chunk and kept the blue chunk and as it grew out, all the new growth is green, but all the old growth stays purple. And it gets these little gold speckled rings around the eyes. I just think the color variation and stuff like that is just so neat in the fact they can get them. There's a Blasto that's kind of hollow type and that's one of the reasons I fell in love with them. Back whenever we first could only get in maybe 30 corals, they literally sent me one that looked like this. And it was the star shine of my aquarium. You could take a picture from my aquarium across the room, and you'd still see that damn thing in there. Sinarina button coral, kind of like the scalimias were, but it's a lot more rumpled and bubbled up, and all the gold streaks and pink that's in it. Just unique as hell. so hard to get pictures of them sometimes. Other times you can get pictures that really shows. Here's a rainbow anemone that I got in. It's a carpet anemone. They're very sticky and you can see the color variation and how the nipples change colors as they roll around the edge and out to the outside. This guy sold for $1,400 to somebody in South America and he ended up killing it. And then he wanted his money back. Yeah. It lasted for a while for him, but it's his own damn fault. Hot pink flower pot. Daisy flower pot, as we called it. Blue daisy flower pot. Haha, <laughs> there's the Christmas tree I made as a joke this one year. This, these are ones you put out in your yard, like three or four in a group sometimes. And I took one of them up here to the shop. It's got fake frosting on it. And I took these dead um, uh, starfish and another dead one up here that I actually caught myself uh, in the Bahamas and put it on top of it and everything and had it up there as that. We've still got it here at the house, and I took all the stars off. I bought those as a separate thing. You get them in a 12 lot for like 6 bucks from someplace on eBay. They have other ones. They dye different colors, but I got the ones that weren't dyed. So this is an eagle eye, and we called them blue-eyed blondes because they had that blue eye, blue eye center to them, gold blonde, blonde fringe. These looked a little more red than some other one did, but then this, uh, and I was selling them for, man, I have a chunk of them for six of them here for 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, I think. Yeah, they're so damn neat, 40 bucks. And there was some guy online, changed them and called them blue-eyed blonde bitches. And decided he was going to sell them for 200 bucks a piece and people were buying it. And I come to find out that's the dude who was buying them from me. So I cut these people off. Then again, I started thinking, hey, maybe I could make money off of them. This is a special coral called a watermelon chalice. You can't make out the edge, but it's green on it. And it's bright red with yellow eyes. It was one of the first chalices that came out. And it looks like a chunk of watermelon. The type of Christmas Cyphastria, but it had pink centers in the eyes instead of just green and red. There's those sponge corals I talk about a lot. This is a peach flower sponge, and this is an orange tree sponge, or a red tree sponge. This is an orange. And a sailfin tank behind it. There's that rainbow carpet in enemy, so you can see its color variation on it. Things glowed around the mouth, too. Blue-eyed blondes. It's really an eagle eye pattern. Flower anemones. They're not a host for clownfish, but there are some shrimps you can get that'll live with them. Got in this anemone, all grape with just those Martian nipple ends on it. They're wicked. There's a diaceris, one of those ones you can snap apart in pieces, and it's just green ringed, green mouth. Regular fungia, but outstanding copper colored. When I say outstanding copper color, you know when somebody drags on a cigarette and it gets bright orange? That's what color they look whenever you put them under actinic lighting. I 
there's that rainbow aiken again. Oh, crap, I'm probably going to get flagged for this music. You know what's happened to me is even though I used uh, their free music in the background, they have flagged a few of my videos, which apparently it's no longer free. I don't know how they can do that preemptively, so... Let me take it down. This one has rainbow eyes, and I believe I showed you that before. This is after I fragged pieces off of it, and how it came right back out after I fragged them off. This isn't the smallest pieces, where you only have three or four heads, but a piece about the size of the palm of my hand. Off the piece was the bigger than both my hands. Daisy flower pots. This one green, this one blue. Just closer to the camera. It's not a lot bigger. I showed a different picture of that exact coral in one of my other video shots and how it had those neat peach eyes. Aiken Bowerbank H2 color. Those Darth Maul Bowerbank eye. These are called clown paint. This is a type of that torch coral and uh, that's usually green that you saw and even green with a lighter tip. This one is orange copper tubed and it's real rare sell for hundreds of dollars a head and you know I'm, I'm the type of guy that thought that that flower pot at $69.95 was worth just as much as one head of that this is about six heads of it but one head of that's 150 but man you want that copper color and flowing around in the flow and looking cool but you can get copper from things like clove polyps whether they're purple with clove polyps like that or green day glow anemones there's two of them I put this picture out I was like which one do you want and everything and luckily within a couple of hours they both sold I had two more just like it people came in the shop acting like they were gonna be pissed off and everything if I sold it already and I ended up having two more they were totally happy believing that that was the same ones that were in the picture but if you can tell it they weren't just so unique those were exactly the same two side by side there's a different flower pot like that uh, spider girl. It's a type of chalice coral. Oh, this grew naturally off of a piece of live rock that we had and it was dead. Or we thought it was dead. We put the live rock and it all started coming out of it. And it looks like it's going to be kind of that Martian nipples. But you see the rings that are separate around each eyes? That's a different form of chalice altogether. Something different. Hot pink flower pot. There's one of those fingerprinted style of bubbles, but this is more swirled. Two different colors, grape and green. There's another one of those Spider Girl flower pots and a hot pink behind it. I think we saw this picture right here earlier. And I shouldn't be doing that over and over again. These gorgeous zoos are pallies, the bigger ones. The eye on this thing is just incredible. I forget what they called that. Something about volcano. This is one of those flower enemies you've seen red, green, and everything, and it came in and it's just all pink and white and freaked out. Yeah, I charged ten bucks more for it. Even though I never saw another one like it. There's more of those blondies. Now this was real famous right here. This is called Krakatoa. And uh, then they got, Jason Fox got one that looked like it and called them Ass Cracks. Yeah, so you can see these people put these funk names up for them and everything, but Krakatoa, because there was volcanoes and things like that, and this was the ultimate. It has this double banding around it of yellow and green. When you get real close, you can see it's blotchy even into it and the center onto it, and it's all made of sparkles. There's a background of red, but then there's gold sparkles just exploding. It looks like a supernova or spewing out lava explosion coming out of volcano. Just wicked, wicked, wicked. That's a war coral. It's just a type of brain, but that variation was called war coral. Totally peach. Bubble tip anemone. One of those light day glow styles. And people always wondered if they were. Uh, bleached out or anything and I had one in a show tank we had over there that was there for months and months and months and months and looked just like it e elegant scroll it's not quite open you can see that its skeleton was kind of like a S or an N or yeah whatever 
and uh, just day glow color. Camera almost couldn't handle the color of it. Oompa Loompa Pollies. Doopa dee doo. I've got a special poly for you. Oh God, what was the name of this thing? It has little purple grape polyps on it and it was peach. This thing isn't much bigger than your thumbnail and they were selling them for like a hundred bucks because they only found a few pieces of it ever and started fragging it up. Outer Limits. I get in these feather dusters. If you've ever seen them, they, if you get close to them, they suck in. They got this little leathery looking tube. It's really a worm. And they get bright yellow ones like this. It was just rare as hell. People overseas will pay over a $100 piece for them. I used to get them for like 25 bucks a piece, 18 for a small one, so 25 and 18, and plus shipping though, so it put it up in that $40 range. People in Texas didn't want to pay 50 to $60 for one and let me make 10 bucks off of it. Disgusting. Why? Because I had all the other variations that were like three for 30 bucks or 12.95, three for 30. This one came in just lime green as hell. There's a sign arena I showed a different picture of earlier in another vid. There's another peach colored uh, bubble tip anemone. Here's some mushrooms that just have rainbow ridges all running through them and bumpy. There's a flower pot that looked better than it shows here. That grape stood out and the peach just looked fake. Like I was talking about before, some of these hammers I get with an anchor hammer would be one single head, but bicolored versions are like two colors mixed, like it didn't know what the hell it wants to be. When he first started getting them in for me, he was talking in broken English to me, and he goes, well, kind of kind of purple, but it kind of green. He don't know what he wanted to be. I said, well, let me get a couple of them. And I was like, oh my God, I want every one of those that you can get. I, not, I don't know. I don't know, and it took us months to find them again. And you find them in little groups where it seemed that they had kind of grown together. So, that's a sea fan. It's not really out yet, just a little bit you can see. This one here is a kind of an orange color, of course, but its polyps were white. They came out onto it, just a fuzzy white. That one in the background is a common sea fan. I used to get a lot of different types of sea fans, too. It gives you a special color, and people make seahorse tanks. They want sponges and sea fans and things to hang on to. Oh, and check it out here. This right here is a type of sea slug that you get. It's a nudibranch. Yeah. And it ate many types of sponge and most types of algae. And it was one of Diodora species. It's one of the few kinds that you could get in that you could keep in captivity that you didn't have to have some kind of exacting food that it basically only lived on out in the wild. There's one of those Achan Hillae like Orange Crush and it just seemed to go crazy colored. The lip astria that just has yellow eyes on it, and the background was so dark you couldn't tell. Scalimia that's just blurred and striped. They called them tiger stripe. There's another variation of that Cristata, but instead of being totally clear, it is somewhat colored. And here's another one of those green rimmed gold bumped. And there's another one, frog spawns, I used to get in. Very soothing watching these corals and stuff. You can probably tell now just watching, you know, and just looking at things like this, how soothing that it can be. But looking at all the different colors and stuff, and from across the room, it looked like a flower garden. And whenever you get up close to it, you could find out just such interesting things about them. And, and it's, uh, it was just neat as hell to me. And while these guys are all cool as hell, there's one of those real expensive ones that I only got one on the whole rock of. These had a rainbow fringe to them, and that's pretty cool. This is a setosa, and it grows out that branching elkhorn style. Eventually grows out elkhornish, but a lot of prongs into it, so more of a bush almost. And it'll even run into itself and meld. But if you can tell here, even though it's a red setosa, it has peach and pink brand new growth tips on it. And all of its new growth seem to do that. Green goblin. There's a type of mushroom, and it had gold specks all over it and watermelon stripes. They call it watermelon mushroom, and it's speckled. There's one of those Martian nipple bubble tip anemones. 
just a straight form. Green, pretty sure that's the common color. But they come in a lot of different variations of the theme. You get darker and lighter and richer colors. It's a coral called a stylophora, and it puts out those same little polyps. And it's like that thing I was showing you flat, but this grows all branchy knobby. Kind of like a bird's nest type thing. Another Martian nipples. Variations on a theme. This one was almost blue. Little piece of sunset flower pot, but man, was it gorgeous. It's another piece of it. Anyhow, guys, we're going to stop it there. But uh, I hope you enjoy this. And it's kind of a break for me. And also, thinking back and everything, and oddly, whenever I see these pictures, I'm like, yeah, I remember that one that had that whole mosaic of gold in the eyes of it. What did I sell that? Oh, wow, that was cheap as hell. That was only like $69.95 for it, and it's bigger than a golf ball. And when it swelled out, it was baseball size. It's just gorgeous. Enjoy, though, and I'll get on to other things and show you some other stuff here uh, coming up. And, of course, we're getting back to ancient people who didn't even know any of these corals existed. Oh, but there are stories of what they did know about the ocean. Yeah. <laughs>